Hey everybody, it's me, Vic. So closer in front of me here. Um, we're gonna be talking about Stream Deck Mobile today. Say you can't afford a Stream Deck hardware device, whether it's Stream Deck Plus or Stream Deck XL, Stream Deck Mini, Stream Deck Classic, um, but you have an iPad or you have an iPhone, whatever device is able to run Stream Deck Mobile. Anyways, um, I'm specifically referring to iOS devices because that's what I currently have my hands on. This particular application is an amazing application that lets you serve the functionality of a regular Stream Deck, but wireless. Um, let's go ahead and get into it, right? So there's this really, really cool thing that I wanna show y'all. And I'm sorry, I'm gonna be looking up and down, up and down. I don't have a prompter yet. But the thing is, when I'm doing things with my hands, I, I'm more hands-on, so I may not look at the camera 100%. Anyways, um, I'm using ScreenLink, which is something that I use in 4K Capture Utility. I set up and then configure everything, and then I set it up here in uh, OBS. So, as you can see in the interface here, at, at, we're looking, right? Like, y'all can't see my hands on the iPad because my iPhone's over here. It's, it's a whole deal right I like I'm using two iOS devices to make this video it's pretty awesome um, a lot of people say they can't get things to work with stream link or with um, a virtual cam but for me I've never had that problem and uh, you know the, the guides are very thorough if you have any questions comment in the video or something figure it out if not Elgato has an amazing community server and there are people like myself and people like you who help each other out pretty awesome place to be Anyways, let's carry on here. So as you can see, when you first initially set up, it's going to say get connected, right? So you're not going to see Stream Deck Mobile. You're not going to see any of the add a virtual device. What you're going to see is available computers. You're going to tap on this. It's going to ask you to scan a QR code. And go ahead and jump to the screen real quick here. And uh, I figured out a way to have this be extremely simple when setting up. So you would go here to devices. Right? We could forget this device and then we could set up Stream Deck Mobile, but what it does is when you select Stream Deck Mobile, it gives you a QR code. I'm not going to forget the device because the last time I tried to do this, I, I struggled a little bit. And then I was like, oh, I needed to scan the QR code and everything. It's easy peasy. But um, scan the QR code that it gives you here, and then you'll be able to connect to your mobile device. And now let's go ahead and switch back because we don't need this screen. We're already connected, so I'm going to select Stream Deck Mobile. Now it's going to take you to the interface that you set up, and initially the setup looks like this. And let's go. And I think it gives you this one. So the cool thing about this, right? Like, let's just say you want the benefit of having those amazing faceplates, but you know, you you have a virtual stream deck, a mobile stream deck. That's that's what it is, and you're able to customize it to whatever Elgato has provided here. So for me, you can do dynamic, you can do fixed on the settings. Like if you wanted the orientation to adapt as you turn your iPad or your iPhone, you can do that. Me personally, I like the dynamic. All right, so the next one is appearance, right? We can go from dark to light. I always go with dark. Better on the eyes for me, okay? I, I wear glasses like 90% of the day. Sometimes I don't, like when I'm gaming, sometimes I take them off, and then when I do, I feel like I'm a, in a fishbowl, so I, for the most part, keep them. Um, there are so many different faceplates, so we're going to look at each. All right, so then the next thing you get to change is your grid. So we looked at the mini. There is a classic 15 button, right? Five buttons in a row in three, so it's three by five. It is five buttons. The next one is 8x4, which is a Stream Deck XL. And honestly, I haven't even fully like used all of my XL buttons here. So the likelihood of me doing it here on a virtual, I know you see me tapping away on the screen there. Yeah. You can see that. Like I think that's so cool that it gives you an impression of like tapping the buttons. Like, but that's pretty, pretty neat. Okay, and then of course the biggest one, which I thought was amazing to see on Twitter from Julian, because you know he 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 tweeted it, and I was like, oh, so many buttons, right? So that's the really cool thing about Stream Deck Mobile. 
Now, if you don't have any of this and you just had literally the Stream Deck mobile here, you could literally just start customizing it here. And if you wanted to do like two, three, four pages of all of this, honestly, these are probably going to be <laughs> maybe less pages than you're going to ever need because there's so many buttons on here. Um, and I'm sure you could find use for them all. Like me personally, I've set it up to where I can just tap a button, launch a game, right? So I'm going to show you that real quick here. And it's going to take me to all of my games right here on my mobile. Now, if I didn't have this particular layout, right? And I decided to go with the Excel because that's currently what I have mine configured at. Well, then it's going to mimic what's on my Excel. So as you can see, it's literally mimicking what's on my Excel. Um, Personally, though, like I said, I like the bigger format of buttons, although I do get more on the faceplate if I keep it in Excel. I feel like Excel is more than enough, right? But since I have the screen realty here to do more than that, I'm going to do that. And as you can see, I am literally tapping buttons. I want you all to see this. I'm going to turn off the iPhone on the screen here. I want y'all to see that I'm literally tapping the arrow button right there. And it's literally taking me page by page. So the cool thing about this, because I do have hardware devices and a mobile device, I can literally configure, and I'm going to show you my Stream Deck Plus how I did this. I literally configured a switching profile page. So this one goes to my regular Stream Deck XL. And this one goes to my mobile. And this is going to open. Oh, wait. I didn't share my screen with y'all. I'm <laughs> just kidding. OK, let's, let's try that again, y'all. All right, so this one is going to go to my Stream Deck XL right here. So it's going to go to the Stream Deck XL right here. And then this one is going to go to my mobile. So as you can see right here, it's telling you Stream Deck Mobile. So you can do multiple devices in one push. You know, it's a multi-action. So this is a multi-action. And then literally, I'm telling it to switch profiles when I push this button. And it opens them up on each device. So if I didn't, for example, have the Stream Deck XL, I could literally just push the button right here. And it'll open up right here on my uh, mobile app. And I love that benefit of having profile switching. But if I didn't have any of this, I could still technically do profile switching within the mobile app. And we can demonstrate that. So go to mobile. And I'm going to go to home. So this is my home page on my mobile, right? Well, let's see. Navigation, switching a profile. And I want this to go to my Discord mobile. So if I tap it on here, it'll literally take me to my Discord. So like I said, with this many buttons on your iPad Pro or your iPad um, or possibly the iPhone, I haven't tested on the iPhone, but I'm sure it, it works identical same. I just don't know how many buttons show up on the iPhone. I'd have to probably read up on that. But I, I would assume the same or maybe a little bit less. Um, I know you can do like customization on it too. Yeah, you can definitely profile switch. And uh, I, I think y'all might see something on here that I'm actually saving for another video. So I am just going to kind of like pop out of that. Uh, too much information at once, right? All right. Well, I wanted to share the convenience and the ease of Stream Deck Mobile because it really is a simple setup for those who may or may not have additional hardware. Um, definitely this thing is a lifesaver because I am running out of USB ports on my PC. I don't know about you. Um, and I loved that there was a recommendation of a Corsair USB hub. It's, it's an external powered hub. And that has helped. It has helped. So I've freed up some USB ports. But um, you know, with new stuff always coming out, you, know, you have to kind of pick and choose what you want connected, what you don't, power bandwidth, all that stuff. So. Uh, this thing, this mobile app, is truly a, a godsend for that. Um, the, the next thing I hope that, you know, I keep throwing this out there is virtual dials, right? I would love that. Anyways, that's a wish list. <laughs> but I, I wanted to show that off so that way you all knew whether you had hardware or just the iOS device and use the mobile app, 
it is very easy to do some amazing things with Stream Deck Mobile. Anyways, thank you for watching.